Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking some first look thoughts at Gato Roboto. Uh, this is an indie game. Um, if you're familiar at all with the Metroid series, then looking at that thumbnail will already give you a good idea what the game's about. Basically, in development it was called Catroid. It's a Metroid game, but instead of playing as a cute trans lady in a suit of power armor, you're playing as a cat in a suit of power armor. Which is pretty great. Um, <laughs> I haven't played this yet. Um, I did have a look at a uh, Raukow's video playing these games and all well, this game and It looked really fun. So I picked it up and we're gonna have a go uh, I'll probably play for about an hour and just see what I think Hopefully I enjoy it as much as I thought think I'm going to based on what I saw because it looks super fun um, But yeah, let's do this <laughs> I'm not sure, like, if it needs to load some stuff on the first play, or... Okay. I'm not sure why some games need you to do, at, do that and others don't. It's Devolver Digital, I think those are the same people that did Downwell. Or published it anyway. And it has a similar sort of aesthetic, as you can see. Gato Roboto. Uh, I can't control the kitty, they're just moving by themselves, I think. Or maybe they've activated when I move the cursor, I'm not sure. Options. Uh, defaults are fine. What other languages do we have? French, German, Espanol. Lots. Alright, um, defaults should be fine. This game should compress pretty well, like the video, because, yeah, it's all monochrome, much like Downwell. Uh, interestingly, it's B to start. Like, it's not the A button. If I guess because B is the bottom one, but often Switch games use the A button anyway, so it's an interesting change. Uh, yeah, file one will do. Uh, new game. You can see you get three files, so that's cool. Okay, we've got a little spaceship. This guy with a big old chin. Oh, he has uh, Banjo-Kazooie talking. Gary to mission control. Come in mission control. Over. Mission control here. Over. Commander, I'm getting a signal from a small planet on my patrol route. Coordinates 42069. Over. Oh, nice. Those coordinates correspond to one of our research facilities. Likely a false alarm, Lieutenant. This particular facility has been long since abandoned. Over. Mission to investigate, sir. Over. Approach with caution, Lieutenant. Over. Affirmative, Commander. Approaching target, sir. Preparing for... Gary, we have lost visual. We are going down. Hold on, kitty. Why'd they stop saying over when they lost visual? That's like the opposite of how over is supposed to work. <laughs> Did the kitty just cause that crash? Ugh. Can't move. But I'm alive. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Meow. Huh? Kiki, my kitty. I have bad news, Kiki. I am trapped inside this ship. Kiki, you will have to go in my place. Meow. Am I really talking to a cat right now? <laughs> Sorry, kitty. I'm up for a promotion. And I can't afford another mishap. These research facilities generally have a pilotable security mech available. Let's see if we can find one. I will help guide you using your radio collar. Just make sure to listen for my voice. Godspeed. Meow. Good kitty. Okay, so I'm the kitty. Uh, I can move... Left and right. Uh, I can use the D-pad or the analog stick. I don't think it makes a difference. I seem to move at the same speed regardless. A button does nothing. I can jump with the B button. Y button. Y button makes me meow. I don't know if that'll be useful. X button does nothing. Uh, minus does nothing. Plus opens a map. Uh, I've got some... It's probably like a spoiler. Because I don't have that suit yet. <laughs> Uh, shoulder buttons all do nothing. I'm assuming I'll get upgrades that make all these buttons do things because this is a Metroid game. 
Uh, let's start by going to the right. Let's see if we can get somewhere. Okay, we've got a door here. This is a very Metroid kind of door. I don't think I can open that without access to a robot suit. Uh, I think the robot suit has like a weapon or something. The cat doesn't. However, the cat can climb up walls, like so, which is very helpful. Oh no, water! Is something wrong, Kiki? Kiki, don't tell me you're scared of a little water. Ow. It's the only way forward, Kiki. You have to get in there, Kiki, one way or another. Boo! <laughs> that was just rude. Okay, so Kitty can swim. Uh, you press uh, jump to swim upwards. It's kind of um, kind of early Mario platformer style, which is interesting because that's not how swimming works in Metroid. There's a door there we can't get into. Can't get through there. I think we'll be able to get into a lot of these places we're going past as we progress. <laughs> That's typically how these types of games work. Oh, hello. Great work, Kiki. Step onto that platform to suit up. Okay, it's clearly a save platform because it's got a floppy disk on it. Uh... Oh, but it also gives me a suit of armor. Look at you, Kiki. Somehow it fits. Press X when you want to get out. Now that you are equipped, it's time to figure out what happened here. Meow! I'm not pressing buttons. The kitty just, like, shoots a couple directions by themselves. Good kitty! Okay, so, yeah, I can't climb walls when I'm in the suit, I reckon. Probably. Looks like it, yeah. Uh, y button lets me shoot. Uh, X, I can jump out of the suit again, just become the kitty, if I wish. And they can hop back in. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna want to be in the suit most of the time. I think basically, uh, getting out of the suit is kind of like the morph ball in Metroid, because the kitty's smaller. You can do kitty-shaped things. Okay, I had to defeat all of those to get the door to open. Yeah, there's lots of enemies around now, because I have a health bar. I think that's what NRG on the right means. I'm guessing that's a health bar. Uh, can I break this? Not yet, I just need something else. I also cannot jump very high. Not very athletic when I've got the ro robot suit on. Ow! Yeah, that's a health bar. Thought so. Oh, hello. Kiki got a health kit module. Well, that sounds good. Kiki, you got a health kit. Maximum HP is increased. Good work, Kiki. Ow! Yeah, so you have seven now instead of six. It also healed me, which is nice. I do enjoy being healed. Oh, okay. Robot armor doesn't like water. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I can shoot up and down. Yeah. Can I shoot diagonally? Doesn't look like it. Um... In um, Metroid Zero Mission, you could hold a shoulder button to shoot diagonally. I'm trying all the shoulder buttons now. Doesn't look like you can shoot diagonally in this one. I'll assume you won't, won't need to. Since it's not an option, unless there's an upgrade that makes it happen. So, I guess we'll see. Uh, here's a save point. Save points also heal you, which is nice. I still can't get through there. So I guess we'll go down. Oh, water. Watch out. Kinda wish there were a mini-map on screen. Like, I know a lot of Metroid games don't have one, but... It seems like there's room on screen to put one somewhere. 
Maybe it's an upgrade and I haven't got it yet. Uh, this is another defeat all the enemies room. There we go. Take that, froggies. Oh, okay, yeah, this is what I was thinking. Uh, we can't go this way yet, and the suit won't fit in here. But if we get out of the suit, and just be the kitty, we can fit. Oh, it's water! So the suit couldn't have gone here anyway, because the suit's not waterproof. Uh, which way do I want to go? Uh, I think this way? Can't meow when you're underwater, which I suppose makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got, uh... Okay, so yeah, you run up the wall a little bit, but then you can jump to keep climbing. It's interesting. Uh... I'm above a save room there. Oh, hello. Hello. Missiles? Kiki got a rocket module. Kiki, you got a rocket. Press A to use it. Demolish bricks. Amplify your jump. Over and out. Okay, I think, yeah, you hit the save, it gives you your suit back. Okay. There we go, on the left side, we've got like a rocket button now. Looks like we have unlimited rockets, but they overheat if we keep using them too quickly. And we can break this stuff now. So that's handy. Go away, frog. Ah, go away, bee. Or whatever that is. Is that a bee? I haven't seen any enemies drop health yet, which is interesting. That's a, like, a thing that usually happens in a Metroid. But not in this one. Maybe there's an upgrade or something that makes that happen? I don't know. Also, yeah, you can get a little bit of a double jump by shooting rockets down, but it's not very good. before, but now if we keep going, we'll be able to go up this way. Okay. So yeah, very, very traditional Metroidvania sort of thing. Just hit a save down there. Oh! Meow? Oh, it's a mouse! Do, do I have to fight the mouse? I hope I have to fight the mouse. Meow? Squeak! What's that squealing noise? Squeak! Kiki, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Squeak! What the heck? What has happened? Okay, I'm not playing well at all. The rocket's damage is going? It looks like maybe they don't. Maybe I need to use regular shots? I'm not sure. Eek! Oh no, they do. Okay. And they have better range as well, by the looks of things. I am not gonna do this this time. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, we're back. That was really quick. Um, can I skip the cutscene or something? Uh... Okay, if I hold down, uh, jump and eject, it makes it go faster. Sorry about the screen flashing, by the way. I'm gonna put a warning about that, because, yeah, this game has a lot of flashing screen. Which is not something I would recommend. And there's no way to turn it off, because I looked at the options and didn't see anything, so... Hmm...
It's gonna take some practice, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm down to one health again. And I still have like half. Oh my goodness. This is a bit of a learning curve. <laughs> I'm pressing eject instead of rocket. That's not gonna work. Ah, yeah, when you, when you fire the rocket it pushes you backward a little bit. And that locks you back into the explosive, which is not good. Okay, you can shoot up while they're in this state. Wasn't sure if you could. That helps. goodness. <sighs> okay, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I think. <laughs> uh, you have to hold both of those buttons for some reason to get it to go faster. I'm not sure why. Seems a bit redundant. And yeah, the screen flashes a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna put an epilepsy warning on this because yeah, this is not good if you have photosensitivity. And you can't turn it off, so that's pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna... Oh, chain hurts you. Okay. I'm gonna ding this game pretty severely for doing that. <sighs> this boss is hard. Mm. Can I go back this way? Mm, doesn't look like it. You get out of the suit and climb up there as a cat, but eh, I think I'm supposed to do this next anyway. I seem to be better at it. Oh, I keep pressing X instead of A. I don't know why I think X is the missile button. It, it isn't. It's the eject from your suit button, and it doesn't work when you're in midair. Which is probably a good thing, because I don't want to eject from my suit. So I assume the cat, like, doesn't have a health bar. You can probably just die if you get out of your suit at the wrong time. Dodging those bouncing explosives is really hard. <sighs> I might just be bad at video games? I don't know. It feels like this is a lot more difficult than what we've done so far. It's a bit of a jump in, in, in difficulty. I don't know if this is like emblematic of the rest of the game. It might be. Oh my goodness. Ouch! I mean, squeak. Meow? Uh, was that mouse speaking? It appears that I have lost a lot of blood. Keep moving forward, kitty. I am counting on you. Did you lose a lot of blood from the mouse speaking? Is that, is that what the, 
intention was, or I'm not sure. Anyway, we can keep going. Uh, hopefully there's another upgrade we get as a reward for doing that, because that's usually how this sort of game works. Okay, uh, we could go into the water as the kitty. Uh, I think. I'm not sure if we can, actually. Uh, we can go this way, though. Do, 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 do. Okay, we can't go down there. We can go up here, though. What have we here? Oh, hello. This is a thing. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we can't get in here yet. Um, we need, like, like a double jump or something to make our way through here. Because you need the suit to open the door at the end. I wonder if frogs are like a required enemy in Bobber Digital games, because yeah, Down will have lots of frogs, and this game does too. <laughs> that would be an interesting creative mandate. <laughs> if it indeed is a thing, I don't know. It probably isn't. Might be though. Uh, okay, now we're back here. If we look at the map. Yeah, it connected back up. As you can see. Uh, I think there's something else this way? Wow. There's this, the ship. Can I blow it up? No. Probably a good thing. <laughs> okay, I can go down here. Do I want to go down here? Uh, we've got a thing here. What's this? Security, faculty log, number 2312. This is Jimbo reporting. The doctor has gone mad. Security systems have been modified to target all personnel in the compound. That's not good. Most of my colleagues have either been killed or turned into one of those things. I am fleeing via one of the surface level escape pods. And though I am unsure I'll survive the trip back, my heart will always belong to the shores of Earth 2. Over and out. Earth 2, huh? All right, if you say so. Ah! Go away, little bug. I think I can get through here now? Yeah. Because this was a dirty area. Or bricks, or whatever these are. I think they're bricks. Ooh, hello. We've got a button. It's an elevator? Okay. Nice, Kiki. You've reached the Nexus. All roads lead here. Think of it as a hub of sorts. Anyway. We need to find the laboratory entrance. Let's see what you got, Kiki. Meow. Meow. Over and out. Okay, so... Over here there's a little save. Nope. Uh, I can break these boxes. Oh, I can just shoot them. I don't need to use the missiles. Okay, I'm assuming this guy's like a tougher enemy. Because... That's not good. <laughs> can I get up there? Yeah, I can. Hmm. Little kitty can go this way. Oh, but can't go any further than that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I'm not supposed to go this way yet? Maybe I'm going to go the other way. Let's see what's over here. Uh, I don't want to use the elevator, so I guess I'll just uh, do that. There we go. <laughs> 
Hmm, this is the main PC. Hello, PC. Seriously? No need to greet me as if I am one of your own, human. Um... Let's cut to the chase. See these signs? No need to condes condescend, PC. Yes, I see them. Very good, human. Well, this sign means broken. You want to turn them all into check marks. Like this. This is a check mark, human. Here is your progress so far. Ahem. Excessive flooding in the aqueduct. Not good. Heater core is still affected by severe overheating. Ventilation system is all clogged up. Nasty stuff. I can only grant lab access if all malfunctions are repaired. <sighs> what a contemptible machine. Let's go, kitty. Okay, so we need to go to those three, like, sub-areas and fix them, I guess. Yeah. Uh, let's try this way. Okay, we're not one of those guys. Just, just do that. Uh, I don't think we can get up high enough to reach that door yet, so we must need to go this way first. Down here. Oh, hello. Yikes, don't shoot. Is that a cat in a robot suit? I guess I'm one to talk. It's like, I guess, I, I guess I'm one to talk. There we go. I got the voice from. At you. Meow. Listen, maybe we can help each other out. I can modify your gun, but I'm short on fuses. Bring me seven cartridges and we can talk upgrades. At you. Kiki, I'm afraid that I'm losing my grip. You better finish this mission before I croak. Meow. Okay, so we found, I guess, a friend. A froggy friend? You a frog? Uh, can I get through there? Nope, doesn't look like it. And I guess we'll have to come back here when we find some cartridges. Whatever those are. So we can't do anything on this side but looks of things. So, um, I guess we'll go to the other side. Yeah, that screen flash is not good. Hmm. Okay, so if we go up here, where can we go? Um, the cat could probably climb up there, maybe. Or we need to go this way, maybe? Yeah, I think I can just go this way. Uh, what's this button do? Oh, another elevator! Okay, where does this one take you? Okay, you've made it to the aqueducts, Kiki. Well done so far. Now to drain this water. Now, Well, drain the water and you can finally stay dry. There are three drains that you need to find. They should be connected to the corridor below. Easy. <sighs> I can never tell if you're listening. Over and out. Okay, so... We drop down here. Oh my. Uh, well, our robot suit is not waterproof, so we have to get out of it. And I guess use this thing. Like a bathysphere or something? Oh, okay. There's an underwater suit we can use instead. It's got a little radar. Interesting. It can't shoot downwards, so we can't get through that dirt. I'm guessing we'll get an upgrade to this one as well. I'm not really sure where I'm going yet. I'm sort of trying different directions. Oh, hello. Is there a prize for doing that? Well, I we'll opened the door above, so... Yeah, this thing doesn't work very well on land. I guess I'll just ditch it and go by myself. Oh, save room, here we go. Get my normal suit back, yeah! <laughs> oh, 
Platforming. <laughs> Robot suit doesn't jump very well. I assume there'll be upgrades that make it jump better. Since they usually are in a Metroid. Guess I'll try going this way? Uh, okay, I can't get through here because the suit isn't waterproof. And I haven't got the other one, like the waterproof one. Oh my gosh, I just noticed. Uh, look at the little kitty portrait in the right corner. Yeah, when you're shooting, they get these little angry eyes. It's adorable. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm guessing I need to get out here. Go for a bit of a swim. Uh, I'm gonna watch out for being hit by anything, because I don't have any power armor. Yeah, that's what I thought. One hit kill. Okay, where am I going? Uh... Okay, then I want to dive down here. And carefully avoid being hit by things, ideally. Like that frog, for example. Okay, so the frog... If I just stay here, let him get in the water, there we go. Then I can save, and it'll give me my suit back. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm making progress. Okay, suit can't swim, so don't go in the water. Just climb up like this. Oh, mini boss. Okay, so there's a whatever that is. I don't see a health bar, so I guess this is just a mini boss and not an actual boss. Go away, missiles! I'm the one with the missiles here. <laughs> well, beat <made> it. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> hey Kiki, remember those drains I mentioned? Anyway. That cat-sized treadmill should drain the top level. Okay, so this is the treadmill. Uh, just hop out and be a cat. And just get on the treadmill, I guess. Adorable. That's it. One down, two to go. Over and out. Oh, there was water here before, and now there's not. Okay, so yeah. It it did what draining should do. <laughs> um, let's see what's down here. Okay, we can uh, do that to go down this way. <gasps> Ooh, health. Kiki got a health kit module. Yay! Love some health kit modules. Uh, there aren't any like extra doors from this room, are there? Doesn't look like it. Okay, then we wanna. Get rid of that. You actually jump quite far, you just don't jump very high. It's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure how the water in this little puddle here got drained, like, it wasn't connected to anything. Doesn't really seem possible. <laughs> but I suppose I am a kitty wearing power armor, so anything's possible. 
Now I can go this way. Can I break these? Oh, I can drop through them. I'm not sure if I could do that already or if that's like a new thing. Yeah, it looks like if I just hold down and jump, I go through, so... I guess that's just a thing I could do already that I didn't know about. Oop, no, get back in the suit. I keep thinking the X button is the use rockets button, and it never is. <laughs> uh, that just can expect it there, so that doesn't help me. Uh, let me see, where else can I go? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, squiddy friend. Enemy, squiddy enemy. Squiddy frenemy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I can blow up this floor now, which is probably a good idea. So now I can- oop! Oh, there's- oh, 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 oh. Watch out! <laughs> okay, I can go down to the next bathosphere, which is this one here. There we go. That fully heals me because it's a separate piece of machinery. I guess that sort of makes sense. Okay, so, yeah, we're gonna need to do the same thing on this level, basically. What's in here? Uh, a frog? Okay. I'll go up. To these guys. Oh, oh, I kill a room. Okay, uh, we got some big fishies. Oh gosh, uh, some scary big fishies that do a lot of damage. Uh, okay, one's gone. Come back down. Okay. Whew. Okay. Okay. We go this way. Okay. Okay. Then we get out. Get out of our bathosphere. There we go. And no, we don't get a save room immediately. All right. We get. What's this? Oh, I see. Okay, we got this wall. There we go. And then go over here. Here's a save room. Let's just uh, get suited up again. All right. Okay, we're doing well. I think. Oh, don't, that wasn't so well. Let me just uh, go back to the save room and heal up again. <laughs> it's just really good. Uh, it's it's hard. It's, it's not like a super easy game, but it's good. I wonder if this bath is, if um, this armor will ever become waterproof, or if it's... Uh, can I cross that? I don't know. No, the answer is I can't. Um... Oh, there's a, there's a, um, elevator there, so I need to activate that somehow. But I don't know how. Hmm... Oops. Yeah, that was gonna happen. <laughs> uh... Let's just try, uh, dropping out of our suit first and going down this way. See what's down here. Um, nothing. Alright. I think that's just a way to backtrack once you've got the suit, once you've got the water drained in that area. Okay, so, yeah, this is an elevator platform, but I don't know how to activate it. Um, can't see any, like, switches. There's, like, an exclamation mark thingy there, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Okay, if I'm just the cat, is there anything I can do as just the cat? Yeah, I can go down here. Uh, oh, treadmill! Okay, that brings the f oh, I see, I get it. Oh, that's cute. Okay. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's go, kitty. And I can go up this way. I haven't actually gotten an upgrade apart from a health kit in a while. Hopefully there'll be more upgrades soon. I like them. Can I go through here? Is that- yeah, that's what I thought. Not enough room. Little kitty only. Okay, 
Okay, then I can save here. Then I'll give me back my suit. There we go. How are we doing? Uh, well, I think. Okay. Oh. Oh, mini boss. Okay, it's another one of these thingies. But I don't really have a good place to hide this time. goodness for that. Okay, uh, we can continue. And presumably, it'll be like a kitty treadmill. Yep, there it is. Which will drain the water. One more drain left. Stay motivated, Kiki. You got this. Aww. Okay, so yeah, there's no water in this room now good because it won't break my armor. And then there was a save room back here, right? Yeah. So skill up. Bloop. There we go. We can go down here. And down here. Oh, hello. Okay, this is probably a secret of some kind. Yes, it is. What is this? Kiki got a cartridge module. Kiki, you got a cartridge. How quaint. You unlocked the starboard palette. Access your menu to try it out. Oh, okay, that's what cartridges do. So yeah, if you go to the menu, there's this palette section. I can change it from default to soft or starboard. I assume there are more that you get for getting different cartridges, but I haven't got them yet. I think I may have missed one already, which is a shame, but eh, I'll get it later. Uh, let me see, what do we want to do here? Okay, just jump over like that. Ow! That still does damage. Okay. So we can go down here. Uh, to get to here. Yeah, we were here before, and now it's just a backtracking path. Yeah, cool. Pretty much what I predicted. These guys are much easier to take out with full robot armor. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we're down in that little tube. What's on the other side? Did we go over there? Can we go over there now? I hope so. I can't jump that high. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think this might have had water in it before, but I'm not sure. There we go. Go away, frogs. Yeah, I think this area might have been filled with water earlier, and now it's not. But I can't do much in it, so... I'm gonna need more jumping abilities and stuff. Ow! And it's bathysphere time again, I assume? Watch out for the proximity mines. Oh jeez, that's actually very scary. Uh, let me just go over here. Oh god, there's more of them. Okay. Okay, we're doing fine. Okay, bathosphere, there it is. Let's get in the bathosphere. Alright, safe. Relatively safe, anyway. Okay. I like these big tubes for some reason. I'm not sure why this area has all these big tubes. Okay, uh, 
continue. Go up this way. I guess we're ditching the bathosphere now. Actually, it bounced pretty far. That was pretty funny. Okay. Robot suit. There we go. Continue. Okay, is that the treadmill? Oh, oh that's the one for the, the um, platform up there. I see. So I'll bring my suit over here somewhere, probably. Just hop out and jump over here. And that'll move this platform out of the way. Okay, cool. Um, somewhere like that's probably best. We can jump back in here. Climb our way up. Excellent. Okay, here's another one of these. So I'm just gonna drop down here. Oh, oh, but we need to be able to get back. So uh, over here, she's probably about right. Yeah, jump into it. Oh, um, hmm. Oh, right, right, the cat can just climb up the wall. Okay, <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, just keep it moving. There we go, and then we can just climb up here. Easy. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh... Another bathosphere. Kiki, I'm getting a strange reading. Is this a dead end? Meow. Squeak, squeak. Oh, the mouse is back. Oh, it's another mouse. Disgusting. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's another mouse? Disgusting. Is it, or is it the same mouse? Ha ha ha. Am I imagining things again? Meow. Kiki, exterminate. Oh. Uh, okay, so the mouse has a bathosphere. And I don't have rockets, so... Oh, I just hold down the button to shoot. Okay. It's a bit easier than mashing it. I think it's a little slower, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. And it keeps you facing the same way, which is really helpful. For a situation like this. Oh, actually, no, no, yeah, you have to hold the button. Okay. This boss looks really busy, but I think it's easier than the previous one. That's the impression I'm getting anyway. The hitbox is very small and you have a lot of motion with this thing. One hit, that's okay though. Whew. Kiki, you did great back there. And this rat problem will definitely be in my report. Let's get moving. The final dream will be ahead. Meow. So it's a rat problem or a mouse problem? They are they are different things. Oop, no, don't eject. Stay in. I was trying to use my rockets, but this one doesn't have rockets. You have to use the other rocket robot suit to actually shoot stuff that takes rockets. Save point. Uh, get back out of the ro robot suit immediately so we can use this thing. That's the last one. Way to go, Kiki. Meow. Time to get back to the Nexus. Okay, I didn't get any upgrades besides a health kit, health pack in this whole area, so maybe we'll get one near the end? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we're about to get one now. Okay, I can't climb up that far, so I just have to go down. Oh, hello. Another boss room of sorts. Or mini boss room, anyway. Ah, 
Oh, oh, upgrade. Kiki got a spin jump module. Ooh. Kiki, you got the spin jump. Press B in mid-air to cross gaps and harm enemies. Man, <laughs> you're really powering this suit up. Over and out. Okay, so we get a double jump, which is also a screw attack. That's what this move is called in um, Metroid. And it's really cool. <laughs> so now we can climb up here because we have the double jump. Which gives us much more mobility. Kind of hard to hit things with it though. Oh, you bounce off of things like Sonic. Nice. I like it. See? That's cool. I like this double jump. It's a little tricky to make sure you hit stuff at the right time. Ah! Oh dear. That's not good. Okay, so there was a checkpoint when I actually got the upgrade, apparently. That's, that's, that's nice of it. Okay, I need to practice with this thing. It is tricky to use. Am I meant to go back this way? I don't know. Probably not, though. Yeah, it looks like you actually break out of the spin jump if you bounce off of something. So you can't multi-bounce, which is a bit confusing. Oh, sometimes you can. Okay, um, I don't know. Confusing. Yeah, you sometimes have to re-spin, like press jump B again to do another spin jump. It looks like it resets it when you bounce off an enemy. There we go. Yeah, this is a long jump room rather than a high jump room. Like that. There we go. Where are we now? Okay. Back through the tube. Okay, we got some sort of stay up challenge. Yeah, I expect it to keep spin jumping after you do a jump, but it doesn't. After, sorry, after you bounce off an enemy, but that's not what happens. It's confusing. No, oh, look how happy the kitty is when you do a spin. Adorable. There we go, that's what you meant to do. And I'm guessing there's like a really good upgrade at the end of this. This is a bit of a tricky optional area. Oh, and that connects to there. Okay. But I can also go this way. Ooh! Ooh! Cassette! Gimme. Cartridge, sorry. <laughs> the goop palette. Oh, it's very green. I'm having a lot of fun, in case you were wondering. 
<laughs> well, this uh, spin jump attack is pretty tricky to use. I'm getting the hang of it, I think. It might be easier if I use the D-pad instead, because the game doesn't really have analog controls. I think I'm kind of expecting it to, and then, you know, it doesn't, so... Not ideal. Okay, now I can just jump back up there in one fell swoop without using the other thing. There we go. Very nice. Let's go, kitty! Now I can get over here. Oh, and I can bring my little kitty this way. I wonder if there's any upgrades for just the cat, or if everything's for the suit. Like, it makes sense if it's all for the suit, but it'd be nice to upgrade my kitty with some new kitty abilities. Okay, there's a health. I like health. <gasps> cassette! I keep, I keep saying cassette because it looks like one, but it's a cartridge. Uh, coffee stain. Yep, it's brown. That's just the colour of coffee. <laughs> How do you get to that one? I'm just need to go a different direction. Yeah, there's one enemy here because they know that touching an enemy at all is insta-kill when you're just playing as the kitty. So, just putting in a little tiny obstacle there. Uh, jump back in the suit, there we go. Okay, there's, some, there's definitely something up there, but I don't know if I can reach it yet. Yeah, I can. Okay. <laughs> Oh, get back in. I'm not sure how much damage it does relative to my other attacks. Also, it bounces you into stuff that kills you very regularly, which is not good. <laughs> um... Thankfully grabbing one of these heals you as well, so... Health kit module... 9. Yeah. It's interesting how little health you have in this game. In traditional Metroid you start with 99 energy, and you get like a full tank that makes that another 99, instead of just one blip of energy. Which is interesting. Granted, things do more damage in Metroid, so 99 energy isn't as much as it would be if you had it in this game. Oh, hello, hang on. Saw something of interest. Uh, can I get back that way? Uh, we'll hit the save while we're here, but I think I saw something we can get, we can get, which I might want. And if you go up here, I think it's like, yeah, yeah, I can definitely get that if I, if I time my jump just right. Or not. Maybe I need to be the cat instead of the suit. <laughs> this is me with secrets. Gotta, gotta get them. Gotta figure out how to get up there. <sighs> as soon as I spot something. Okay, here we go. Okay, being the cat doesn't help. Hmm. Maybe I need something else. I need to come back to that with an extra ability or something. We'll see. Okay, so yeah, the first one's fixed, but now I have a big jump, so I can access some more stuff that I couldn't before. I think it does about as much damage as this one, like the normal normal attack. The screw attack in um, Metroid does a lot of damage. Like, it's one of the most powerful things in the game, which is why I usually get it near the end. Uh, but, ooh, hello. Oh, this is the hot area, so it's got, like, heat messing everything up. Interesting. I might just have a quick look over here first, because... Yeah, I can get up here. There might be might be a collectible of some kind. Oh, it won't let me eject because it's too hot. So if I got out, like, I'd instantly get evaporated or something. Oh, spikes. I didn't see that because of the weird graphics in this area. Okay, uh, here's something.
Okay. Is there a prize for doing that? Yes, there is. Another health kit. Nice. I like health kit modules. Oop. Oh, there's smoke and then there's fire, I see. I thought that there was like bubbles or something. Didn't understand the visuals quite right. Uh, there's nothing down here, although there is in that other room which we can't access yet. Is there anything over there of interest? Potentially, let's have a look. Well, um, we're coming up on about an hour. I might just start the next area, just get a little bit of a look at it. Uh, so we take this elevator. <laughs> hey Kiki, looks like you found the heater core. Yeah, I know. This area is, um, really hot. You you're gonna want to stay inside the mech for now. It's not safe for you out there, okay? Now. Yeah. Kiki, once it cools down, you can play all you want. Kitty. <laughs> Be safe, kitty. Over and out. Aww. Kiki is kitty. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? We got, uh, evil donuts. Alright. I think they're supposed to be like real volcanoes or something. They look like donuts. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Oh, I see. Beep. What's this? Laboratory log of Dr. Heinrich, day 637. So is this the doctor who went evil and made his, like, contraptions kill everyone? The robotic defense weapons I have been developing are... terrifying. That being said, I can't rid myself of a feeling of pride. I truly am an excellent engineer, despite that. They still send me, instead of the maintenance crew to repair this faulty heater core. Humiliatingly below my pay grade. Spent speaking of which, they dropped off a very sweet dog to my lab the other day. They called it defective and told me to make one of my... free creations out of it, or something of the like. A misunderstood creature, not unlike myself. He is easily more intelligent than most of my colleagues. Oh snap. The dog seems to like me. I have yet to name him. Bark, bark. Hmm. I'm guessing we're going to be fighting that dog. It just, just, it just seems like an obvious progression of this, this game and what we've seen so far. <laughs> Is that something of interest up there? Don't know. Away. Okay, that's scary. Uh, kind of show a bit more visual differentiation between the things that are always going to be fire and the things that are on a timer. They look very similar. that your uh, rockets have the same heat properties even though we're in a really hot area. Like, they cool under 21 without any problem. <sighs> oh yeah, I can't eject. Right, because it's too hot. I can see there's an, a a a an area there the cat can go in, but I can't eject from my suit yet because it's too hot to do that. How annoying. <laughs> Oh, that looks really dangerous. Can't cross that yet. Oh, 
much health do these guys have? Lots, apparently. Takes like three rockets. That is excessive. Okay, we're on about an hour, so when I get to the next save room, we'll be stopping. But yeah, this has been a good first look at the game, I think. Looks like a lot of fun. Oh. Minibus. It's like a train or something? Steam engine? I don't know. I am taking a lot of hits. <laughs> Here we go, save room. Okay, well, this has been Gato Roboto, a game which is super adorable and only has the downside that for some reason they did the thing. I can't words. Uh, they made it so that it flashes the screen all the time and there's no way to turn that off. Like, you can change the color palette, but it's still going to flash the screen in whatever colors you pick, right? Uh, let's try changing it to soft and see if that makes it better. No, no, it's still a problem. So yeah, uh, don't play this if you're photosensitive because you'll have some problems. Otherwise you'll enjoy it, but yeah, uh, that's not good. Uh, hopefully they'll like maybe patch that. I don't know if they will. I think this game is about a year old at this point and it's still doing this. So chances are they're not gonna patch it, but you know, we'll see. Maybe they will. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, it flashes the screen so much. Uh, I can try some of the other palettes, see if that helps. Uh, coffee stain, maybe? No, no, same problem. Goop. It's probably less bad because it's blue instead of white, but it's still not good. Hmm... At least the game is very accessible if you're colorblind, since the color is... there isn't any. It's just... it's completely monochrome. Even more so than, um, Downwell, which I talked about being monochrome before. But yeah, this is not a good game for photosensitivity. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!